hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to install the kali linux on your usb as well as boot the kali linux with the usb flash drive so you need to have at least 32 gb of pen drive in order to install it or even you can try on the 16 gb i have 64 gb so just we need to plug in first of all in the laptop or system then we need to install the Kali Linux operating system just type there Kali Linux download go to first link now from here this is very important part in this video we need to select here this one live boot quick and easy access to full Kali install your Kali always with you without altering the host OS plus allow you to benefit from hardware access just select this option and now you can see we need to select this option it is already selected here and this is the latest version as of now 2024.4 and just we need to click on here download and the ISO file should be downloading like this it is around 4 GB 5 GB it will take some time also we need to have the Rufus as usual in order to make a bootable USB and operating system on it just select the first link 4.6 exe standard as of now if you are watching this video later just go ahead with the latest version and simply install it so I'm pausing the video for as of now it is installing the USB Lite version you can also read more about this it allow you to boot from the Kali Linux with the persistence the good performance you will get so let's resume the video now so we have successfully installed the bootable image of USB as well as the Rufus. So you just need to double click on the setup Rufus. Click on yes button. And insert your pen drive here. As you can see here this is my pen drive. So select the correct one. So now we need to select the disk image. Now select the today one. This one I have done in the yesterday. Click on open. And now you need to start it. Click on OK. Click on OK. All the data will be deleted from your pen drive. So make sure you backup the data before proceeding this step. And I hope you know already the process of that. If something is going to make a bootable pen drive so all the data will be lost from the USB pen drive now let's wait here for some time and until it gets completed so now it's ready guys this is the volume label whatever you want to give it we need to close this this is a bootable pen drive as you can see here all the operating system it has so it's time to remove it and we will boot from the pen drive so you can go into the BIOS options like you can press the bootable key or you can go to this way like you just need to click on settings even you can press the restart and shift option or you can go to this way just click on restart here restart it and I will go to the BIOS and set the pen drive on the boot priority so let me restart the laptop guys troubleshoot advanced options and UEFI firmware setting simply restart it now in my laptop I will press F10 key so this is the F10 key 
now you will see this screen you need to go to the configuration and this may be different on your laptop but basically we need to go to the boot orders and on the priority on UEFI we need to select the USB on the top how to select that as you notice that in my windows or laptop F5 and F6 is a changing value for the order so let's say I press F5 here so it is going down if I press F6 it is going up so once you press the value from top like this make sure the USB on the top and once you have done that you need to press F10 in order to save your changes this is F10 and you need to confirm it press Y or enter here now you can see our window should able to boot from the USB we need to select this here this option I hope you are able to see that live system with USB persistence and there is a URL on it also so we need to select it and press here enter now see guys we have successfully logged in on the Kali Linux with the USB with this pen drive and we can perform the steps here as well and also you can connect with your Wi-Fi here just go to Wi-Fi options then click on available options and you should be able to see your Wi-Fi here just connect the Wi-Fi and thereafter you should be able to browse the internet as well on the Kali Linux so you can see here we are able to perform the internet also on our windows let's open Facebook and you can see so this is how guys you can use the Kali Linux with the help of USB pen drive so I hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching